yeah, delighted, chuffed. You know, it's, uh, you know, when the draw come out, it's you know, it's one of your two worst nightmares. And uh, I knew I'd have to perform to like the best of my ability today, and uh, and I did for the most part. And like, I think those on my side today, a few little nice bits of luck at the right time, which I capitalised on. And uh, yeah, all in all, really, really pleased with my performance. You obviously did the damage in the first session, but then you've got to finish the job off, haven't you, when you come back tonight? And I would imagine the, the pressure is really on then, even though you've got that big lead. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we all know there's, there's no one in the game worse to have a lead on than Mark Selby. So I was fully aware of that. And I think the game to go 8-5 was massive. You know, I, I sensed that he, for the first time all day, really, he looked the best he'd looked. And I thought he sensed that he could sort of smell blood and he sort of had me. And uh, uh, luckily he didn't get on a ball when he split the reds and I, I took full advantage and went 9-4, which was a massive relief to me because I was starting to starting to feel it. What was the sense of emotion like when you got over the line out there? Yeah, it was good. It was, it was nice, you know. I sort of tried to keep my emotions intact because I've got the utmost respect for Mark. You know, he's, he's the best player we got. He's, he's the best ambassador we got. And I, I didn't want to sort of show out after I'd won. You know, I've got too much respect for him and... Uh, it must be horrible, you know. I've I've lost here before, lots of times. Never, never experienced being the reigning champion. So, no, I had too much respect to sort of like go over the top. And uh, yeah, you know, just, it's just a nice win. Are we seeing the benefit of you know coming through three tough matches in qualifying? Yeah, I think so. I, you know, I've always said I don't think fatigue is such a big thing in snooker. I think the fact that you've won three matches means you're high on confidence, and I think that will always override a little bit of fatigue. Maybe if you progress deep into the competition, it might play a part, but that's a problem I'd love to have. We've obviously seen you go deep in this tournament before, but what does you know knocking out the defending champion, where does that sort of rate as a result here? Yeah, it's up there, one of my best, definitely. I think I'm not sure if someone might correct me. I think I beat Mark Williams when he was world champion years ago, and you know that was one of my, at the time, that was one of my highlights, probably one of the best wins I'd ever had. So, yeah. When you beat the world number one world champion in any tournament, it's, it's a great feeling. And to beat him at the Crucible it just makes it even more special. And great for your confidence going forward, potentially. Yeah, of course. You know, I, I know my game's in good order. But, you know, come Thursday, this result doesn't mean anything. You know, I've got eight frames to play on Thursday, first session, and, and this result counts for nothing. I've got to go out and perform again at a very high level to, to sort of see that one through. So, yeah, I'll, I'll enjoy it for now, but I know I've got to get back down to the ground very quickly, ready for another tough game on Thursday. Congratulations on the result. Thank you. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.